Hello guys, I'm Infamous here, and today I'm doing a video of the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare beta multiplayer, which is a lot better than I thought it would be. So I'm gonna quickly shut up so you guys can listen to whatever this guy's gonna say. And yeah, I'll be back in a second. Get your team ready, we're headed out. Yes, sir. You're the new recruit. Welcome to the JTF Wolverines. I'm Commander James Romer. Wolverines are a direct assault unit. We work for the SDF, the UNSA, anyone with a bankroll to pay the bills. Other units out there specialize in strategic objectives, tech ops, ghost hits. We like to keep it simple. Kill or be killed. Sergeant! Get your team ready, we leave at five. Yes, sir. I'll be assigning your missions as they come in. Complete the objectives, I'll promote you, get you the best gear we have available. First things first, we need to get you in a combat rig. Rigs are wearable, customizable weapon systems. Top of the line tech, built for extreme military applications. These things pack a punch. They will save your ass in almost any environment. This is a tricked out warfighter rig, custom built for our unit. Prove yourself, and you'll get access to more rigs and extra ordnance packages. Welcome to the Wolverines. First in the fight. Go give them hell, soldier. Pick a rig. So yeah, guys, that's basically that cutscene yeah, like telling you about all the rigs and everything. It's basically specialist suits, which I'll show you now. But basically, this isn't like multiplayer gameplay, like live gameplay. It's just like me giving it a go on the. Sorry, talking. Yeah, it's basically me just giving it a go on multiplayer, showing you all the supply drops and everything. And something cool about this: every day you log in, you will get a like daily login bonus, which is like you can either get salvage or you can get um like keys for supply drops, which. I will be showing you some supply drops right now, well after I sort out all my rigged weapons and everything. And by the way, the claw is actually insane, it's so overpowered on this game. And I will be talk telling you about all of the weapons, well some of the weapons that, will, like, that I've been using, so... Yeah, I'm not like, gonna be getting anything like awesome in these, but it's still like, just a quick look on the supply drops and stuff, so... Yeah, it's... Nothing really special, at, like throughout all the supply drops that have opened, I, I think I've only ever had one epic and that's a uh, calling card. So it's nothing really like incredible, it's like, yeah. But the thing about this game, you can get variants of guns so they're pretty much taking it back to Advanced Warfare, but it's not like really overpowered ones, like as you can see here, the prototype lab, you can get salvage points, which you get from supply drops playing games too, and like, yeah, team levels and stuff, so it will award you with salvage points, which you can like buy better guns. Like right there, I've got a rare um, RP RPR Evo, which is pretty good actually, but I haven't used that variant of the gun. Um, the gun I used is the Arad, and I have literally just unlocked the Reckoning, which this gun is actually really overpowered. It's really, really good. So, yeah, and. I got my daily login which gave me 60 keys to open up, so I just opened up a load of 10s because it seems better opening them to get more items than it does open two 30 key packs, so it kind of works out in a way. But, and again, I don't get anything really good, it's, it's kind of rare to get some like decent stuff on this game, but yeah. The, yeah it's just calling cards, weapon variants and like stuff for your character and stuff, so. I got it again, which isn't very good. But yeah, I use the Arad, which is really overpowered, and there's the calling card I got, which isn't really like it's just not even worth having. But um, yeah, the Arad's really good. It's strong, fast. It's actually faster than a Vector, which I cannot remember what it's called because it's not called a Vector in this. But yeah, and. I'll show you the kills that I got with some of the guns in it. It's not just the Arad, but it's throughout all of the guns I've used. I've only got a couple of clips, like, so it's not loads of gameplay. But, um, 
pretty cool thing about supply drops is if you get a duplicate you don't get keys back from it as you like would from Black Ops 3. So um yeah, that's it. You get salvage points. So this is a gameplay. Like I get a good like amount of kills. I died the first two times that I've recorded this, but I do get like a good amount of kills with this life. This gun is really cool because you make it so it's a dual wield machine gun or a full rifle like that. And yes, I do get a double kill, which I was really, really happy about. Seems that I think that was my second or third game into it. Cannot remember, but it was awesome. And this is because this gun is actually insane. It's probably one of the most overpowered, like specialist weapons on the game. It's so good. Like, I did not kill that guy, but I killed this guy here. But, yeah. Triple kill with that, just run straight into him, is overpowered. And that gun there is a sniper and an LMG, which is awesome. Okay, we're so, you just hold Y or double tap Y or something, and it changes. But yeah, and this is the Reaper. People get like think it's the um, minigun off Black Ops 3, but it's not. It's like a dog thing, which is a bit gruesome, but it's awesome. It's actually really cool. This game's a lot better than I actually thought it would be. So, like, people have, like, been saying it's crap and everything and all that, but it's actually a lot better than I actually thought it would be, so. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and please subscribe. Peace.